good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Hope you are having a truly tremendous day. Uh, just wanted to come in, jump in, and go live into uh, Passion to Succeed, accelerating your network marketing success community. It's been a really explosive start to the year for me, and I'm guessing it has for you too. I think sometimes in life, timing is absolutely everything. You're in the right place at the right time with the right environment. Um, so really, really super excited. Uh, hi. Um, hope you are well. Hi, Alison. Facebook user. I've got absolutely no idea who you are, but uh, yes, long time no here. I am here and well. Let me just jump on my phone while you guys are jumping on. Okay, let's have a little look. Let's turn the volume down so you don't get the feedback. Good evening. Afternoon, Georgina. Hope you are well. Hey, Debbie. So, uh, guys, usual shenanigans. Uh, make sure you're saying hi. If you're watching this live, welcome. I'm going to share with you um, free... Uh, I've actually forgotten the title, really, for day 27. Uh, free shortcuts to unstoppable success. These are really fundamental. Hi, Rhea, I hope you are really, really cool. Um, this is obviously a really fantastic network marketing community. Uh, you'll see there is training in the units or the guides as they're now called. Uh, you'll see here in the topics, we have uh, now 27 uh, live video trainings specifically done to empower you to believe in the possibilities that lie within you, around you, and before you to accelerate your network marketing success. So today, I'm gonna to take up about 15 minutes of your time and share free, um, free rules, free shortcuts, maybe, to unstoppable success. And if you would like to be aware of these free shortcuts, just let me know in the chat if that would be something to enable you to accelerate your success. If there was free shortcuts, to success. Now, this is really a little bit of um, playing, I guess, um, devil's advocate, if that's the right way of putting it, in the form of, is there really any shortcut to true enlightenment, to true success, wealth, and happiness? Well, I want to share with you three shortcuts to create unstoppable success. But here it is. Um, and I want to share this with you firstly and foremostly. Most people in the world today want an exceptional life. Most people in the world today want an exceptional life, yet they settle for what they have. You've got to be prepared to do the things that others will not do in order to achieve, experience, share, and feel the things that others will not have. So it's amazing, isn't it? I say most people. I believe everybody wants to live an, an exceptional life but people settle for what they have. And the more often than not, this is a flip side to commitment to change. How we change is how we succeed. So I wanted to share this with you this evening, and I'll get to my free, uh, free uh, strategies, free shortcuts for unstoppable success, and they're gonna blow you away, that is for sure, in the form of really triggering you to use your imagination. But here's the thing. If you're committed to live an exceptional life, if you actually are committed in spite of your fears, and being an ex-surfer, you know, surfer turned networker, uh, I, um, on a few occasions, I think I've been close to near-death experiences whilst surfing. I know certainly in uh, Greenmount in Australia, when I was surfing there, that was definitely a near-death experience. Uh, when I was surfing and... Um, uh, I could have sworn there were sharks around me. That felt like a near-death experience, although there wasn't. They were dolphins. Um, and uh, but anyway, that's beside the point. But as a, as, a, as a surfer turned networker, I understand the importance of commitment because the flip side of fear is commitment to your goals, commitment to your outcome. And here's three things, not the three uh, rules or the three shortcuts, but it's three things to be aware of. When you are committed, you will take action in spite of your fears. When you are committed, you will take action in spite of the unknown, the fear, maybe the lack of skill. But here's the thing I wanna share with you. It's all about action. Success in any arena of life is a level of activity. It's about action. 
The only time success comes before work is in the dictionary. So it's about having this mindset of when you're committed, you will take action in spite of your fears. Never question your ability, only ever question your activity. And this is the same, but particularly in network marketing, that fear of rejection, that fear of coming up short and not achieving your goals, that fear of am I good enough? When you're committed, you'll take action in spite of your fear. When you're committed, you'll upgrade you. What do I mean by that? You'll upgrade your skills, you'll upgrade your personal growth, you'll upgrade your belief. When you are committed, you will upgrade yourself through going on a journey of personal development, personal growth. And this is fundamental. My original mentor, and I've probably shared it on this program of uh, 30 days, not that we've got to day 30 yet, but my original mentor uh, said to me, when you stop chasing the check and, and chase personal development, the check will start chasing you. What an amazing philosophy. You need to be worth, not just in your contribution, but in your self, your upgrade of yourself. When you're committed, good evening. Hey, Sheridan, hope you are cool. Hey, Kerry, hope you are really, really good. You know, make sure if you, you've got your team in here, make sure you're tagging them. You know, if they're brand new to this group, you know, advise them to go and start day one and work through this 30 day program because by the time they get to day 30 it will be in place when you are committed you will let go of the shit that's holding you back you will let go of what doesn't serve you well that could be relationships that could be a negative environment that could be a way of thinking you will let go of what no longer serves you when you're committed you will let go of what no longer serves you commitment is the glue to your success in network marketing. Committed to be consistent day in, day out. You know, I talked about finding the aces and the power of one earlier in this program. The key for you is to focus on the level of activity. Now in network marketing, I'll share this with you now. There's a threshold of activity. It doesn't matter what business you're in. It's all about contribution. There's a threshold of activity. You're either drowning in a sea of mediocrity because you're not doing enough or you're in the magic. And this threshold, more often than not, is based on the simplicity of consistency. Consistently finding customers each and every week to achieve the set minimum standard that your mentor or sponsor uh, would share with you. There would be a threshold of activity to recruit at least and help and support at least one new person to successfully launch their business each and every week. You know, a lot of people are doing so much more than that now. Hey, Sharon, hope you are cool. So as you're jumping on, make sure you say hi. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. If you've got a team in network marketing, invite them in to this community. If you want to know the, the values and the ethos of this community, go and check out the, the, uh, the ethos because I'm super excited. I have a, a coaching program that is 197 pound for seven weeks. Uh, it was valued at two grand. And in this community, I'm gonna be giving it free. Um, at some point, when I work out where it is online in what cloud, I'm gonna distribute it into this community completely free. So you need to get active. So it'll be coming at some point in the next week or two. So when you're committed, you'll take action in spite of your fear. When you're committed, you'll upgrade yourself when you are committed, you'll let go of what no longer serves you. Commitment is the glue to your success. You need that commitment to be in the magic. You know, it's that if you're not doing enough, you'll take two steps forward. Uh, sorry, one step forward, two steps back. One step forward, two steps back. You'll always be to in and from in rather than you know, really taking the, the steps towards your goals, dreams and aspirations. So the three rules, the three shortcuts to your success. Here it is, design what first. This is so important, the how-to is irrelevant. I know you've probably heard this before, but when the why, you know, people talk about the why that makes you cry, it's not necessarily about that, but it's about having an emotional congruency, which I've talked about and often talk about. You need to decide what, you need to design what it is that you want to achieve. What is your desired outcome? If you fast forwarded, to the uh, 24th of December, Christmas Eve, 2021, and you looked back on a year with pride, 
a year of magic, a year of success, a year of development, a year of growth, what would you have overcome? What challenges would you have brushed aside? What uh, skills would you have learned? What successes will you have shared? What successes will you have achieved? So you must design the what first. When you design the what, the how to will appear. So fundamentally important. People don't always get this right. They have, I'll see how it goes kind of vibe. Well, you'll have a see how it goes kind of success vibe. So the first um, shortcut is design the what first. The second shortcut is to avoid trying to figure it all out. I think human nature and in the world we're living, you know, where we're given a job and we're, we're trying to be innovative and do it better than, you know, what was done before. Um, certainly in the management area, we, we, you know, in environment, people, things hit their desk, they've got to make it better to keep their job, so to speak. But avoid trying to figure it all out. You know, sometimes we ask the question, why? Why do people behave like that? Why do people not see this business? Why, why do people think it's pyramid selling? Why are people, why is not everyone joining? Forget the why, as in it's not really our responsibility to question or to judge. People have their values, their beliefs. We respect them. We have our own values and beliefs. Let's be in line with them. The second shortcut to success is avoid trying to figure it all out. Just go to your sponsor say what next the two most magical words to grow your business what next yes add your own sparkle yes add and bring your own personality but avoid trying to figure it out ask what next and take action and you know what you'll figure it out along the way as jim rowan was famous for saying start with what you've got and better tools will be found along the way so massively important right the third shortcut to unstoppable success is make sure you have that person to say what next. Find a coach, find a mentor that's doing what you do. Now, I'm actually going to share with uh, you what we 27, day 28, I'm going to share with you the mistakes that network marketers make, you know, the mistakes that new team members make, the mistakes that people make in network marketing. And I'll share this with you. And social media has the biggest impact on that. People are trying to do what their sponsor is doing. You do it, and, and what I mean by that, I'm gonna to have to explain now, aren't I? Um, you need to find a coach, you need to find a mentor who's where you want to be. People that are striving for success. You know, sometimes people get their little pity, corner, pity party corner and they're speaking to the wrong people. Everyone's got an opinion, everyone's got beliefs, everyone's got value. But here's the thing, always um, focus up. Where do you wanna be? If you're spending your time um, uh, with the turkeys, you never fly with the eagles. And I'm not being disrespectful to turkeys, by the way. I'm just saying you, you need a coach and a mentor that's doing what you want to do, that's achieving the lifestyle, the success, that you know is insanely great at finding customers, who's great at recruiting, who's got a love and a passion for their team. If that's what you want, Find a coach and a mentor that is where you want to be and walk the same path. But remember this, and this is what I just said, people are trying to do sometimes what their coach and mentor does. And what I mean by that on social media, don't do what they do, do what got them to there to be able to do what they do. Does that make sense? And the easiest way for me to explain that is sometimes people live the lifestyle before they get the income. And I've seen it over the years because we get wrapped up in this, this uh, importance of mirroring and inspiration. And I want to be, I want to achieve that sort of success. I want to have that, that lifestyle. And sometimes, just sometimes, uh, people will live the lifestyle before they've got the income. So what I'm saying is, you know, just because the way somebody's presenting themselves on social media, that's where they are. Don't do what they do. Do what you need to do to get where you need to go because they'll be doing something maybe at the next level. Okay, so really, really important to understand that. Don't try to do what they do, do what you need to do, and on the journey you'll become. So find yourself a coach and a mentor who's where you want to be. Uh, so there's your three rules. Design what first. Um, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, don't try and figure it out. Always ask what's next and find a coach and a mentor that's where you want to be that you can spend time with communicating with uh, because you want to always, always focus up because we're the sum of the people we spend most of our time with. So if you want to grow, if you want to personally develop, if you want to increase your income, if you want to increase your skills, your confidence, your belief, your clarity, if you just want to grow a network marketing monster, then make sure that you're not taking advice from people that aren't walking the walk, that are talking the talk, but doing nothing about it. So on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. Day 27, free shortcuts to unstoppable success. Remember, commitment is the glue to success. Commitment to take action in spite of your fear. Commitment to upgrade yourself and commitment to let go of what no longer serves you. And then design the, the, the what first. You know, find somebody that you can always ask what next. Have that coach and mentor that's going to lead you in the direction of your goals, dreams and ambitions whilst you find your feet to lead yourself. Because a leader of one is a leader of many. If we're unable to lead one, we will never lead any. Have a great evening and thanks for tuning in.